Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. All right, another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. And of course, we are very lucky to have a very special guest on the show right now. Sandy, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. All right, perfect. I know you're very busy. Thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to do this. We really, really appreciate you being on the show. So um, we have a lot of listeners who are business owners just like yourself. And of course, um, can you help me out here, Sandy? Can you introduce yourself to our audience? Maybe let's start off with a question. Um, what is your role in the business? Okay, so I'm a solo agent, um, a solo real estate agent. I transitioned from a career as an attorney a couple of years ago, right before the pandemic, which was interesting timing. Um, but I basically run my own business. Um, I do work with other agents in um, sort of loose alliances. And now I have Emil helping me so that I can grow my business even further. All right. So your cyber backer, Emil, how long have you been working with them? You know what? I'm not actually sure. It's been a few months. Um, maybe you might know better than I. I've lost track of time, but he, yeah, it's been a few months to the point where he's really doing a lot of stuff on his own and sort of doing his piece without a lot of um, handholding for me, which has been fantastic. All right. Now, what can you tell me about him? Um, let's say personality wise, things like that. Emil, uh, so I loved Emil straight off the bat during our interview. He just has like a twinkle in his eye and he's always smiling and really easygoing. Um, for me as a business owner, though, honestly, the best part about Emil is that he's a complete self-starter. And if I'm completely missing an action and I don't get back to him at all, he just keeps plugging away and creating new things. And the other thing I really like about him is that he's learning things from other cyber backers and the training that he's getting. And he comes back to me with ideas of things that he thinks that would be helpful for me. So he, Emil is like a hundred percent. He's like exactly what I needed. He, um, he really brings a lot to the table in terms of giving me even new ideas. I hadn't even thought of, of ways to improve things. Of course, here in Cyberbacker, um, every week we have these trainings, these meetings, of course, masterminds as well to make sure that we are growing, not just on a weekly basis, but on a daily basis. So good thing that we have Emil doing that for you and your business and coming up with ideas as well. Now, right. um, how about this partnership, this type of a virtual partnership? What makes it a successful one? You mean, how do we make it successful mm -hmm. or? OK. Yes. The things that are really the most successful for me are um, things that he can do entirely online. Um, and those are, you know, ordering my marketing materials from our marketing company, um, doing social media every day, including holidays and weekends and all that. He schedules those in advance for me. So I don't touch those at all. Um, and he also manages my database, puts new people in when I get new clients. And um, we're working, so the next step for me, and it's really a me thing and not a Emil thing, is we really need to develop the you know touch programs so that we have the right content to send out to clients. And then I expect that Emil will also take over that and really make sure that everyone gets put on the right touch program and that the content is updated as necessary. Of course. So all the, the virtual things, yeah. Everything that he can do in front of a computer, something like that. Exactly, yes. yeah. Now, how about um, time? Um, how much time has he saved you ever since he started working with you in the team? Well, he works, you know, you know, 20 hours a week. So he's saving me that. Um, he's either saving me that or he's doing stuff I wouldn't have ever gotten around to. So, you know, he gets the social media going out no matter how busy I am. Like the last few weeks, I've just been swamped. I had just have tons of clients that are very active. And if it weren't for him, I would never get any social media out whatsoever because I haven't even opened it. So it's nice knowing that rain or shine, no matter what's up in my life, I have a consistent media presence because Emil's out there doing it every day. Of course, of course. Having someone to do the things that you really want to do, but just don't have the time or the thinking time to do, right? 
Right, right. Yes. Now, you already talked about the things that he is currently doing for you in your business. What I'd like to know more of is what are some of the new things that you're considering to have him do in the future for your business? But I did ask him recently to help me. I had a new listing um, and it was out of the area that I typically work in. And so I had him do some research on contractors and vendors in that area for me to kind of get a few flooring guides and a few painters and stuff like that so that we could, I could get vendors to work on prepping the house for sale. And so he was able to do, again, the internet part of it. And then at the very end of his shift, he's able to start calling. I think just being on the West Coast makes it slightly more challenging Mm -hmm. for those on the East Coast. I think there's plenty of time for him to have taken a more active role in that. You know, it's just that additional time time that's that's tricky, I think. But um, maybe I have the timing backwards so you can just edit that out (laughs) if I'm wrong. Um, But um, there's definitely some things that would be helpful to have someone, you know, assisting me on that we haven't quite figured out how to make it work. So I'm always kind of thinking of how we can better utilize him and his skill set because he's a really smart guy and really creative, you know, and so I'm sure there are other things we could be doing to utilize him, but, um, but I'm not there yet. Yeah. Of course, getting used to working with each other is something that you go through through time. Right. So eventually you would get that going. And of course, that's very exciting because more things for him to do, then that just means more opportunities for him to grow as well. Right. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Now, um, my next question is a bit tough. Um, what have been some of the challenges that you've had working with Cyberbacker? Um, I think the two biggest challenges that I have. So Emil's up and working you know, before I am, we've gotten very good at communicating by messenger so that we can catch up with each other overnight. And I send him emails when I'm working at night here, which is, I guess, when he's probably sleeping there. So we, we've made it work by just um, being creative about how we communicate with each other. And then we do try to touch base with each other by zoom at the end of his day and the beginning of mine at times, just so that we can see face to face and kind of catch up. Um, the second thing, them learning your style. I mean, he's writing my content for me, so it needs to sound like it's coming from me. And so I think that's the same challenge you would have with any assistant is how does it sound? How do I make it sound like it's coming from me and not someone else? So, um, I, I would call it a challenge, but I think it's a challenge I expected and I would expect from any assistant. Of course, of course. Again, just getting used to working with each other and eventually time, he would be able to get that, of course, just responding like you, at, like an extension of yourself as well. Yes. And I think it, like one thing you just said also is I would like to figure out how to get some engagement on some of the social media posts that he puts. And so... Maybe um, I can, if we can figure out a way to get engagement on them, then he could also be responding to those posts as well as me. I think the more time that Emil spends working with me and the more I sort of edit things and show him how I would have said it, then he starts, he's great about like adjusting it for the next time. It does sound a lot like, a lot more like me. Of course. Again, that's very exciting. More things for him to do. Growth for him being an extension of you. Now, um, Sandy, one last question. We have a lot of listeners who are, again, business owners just like yourself. What advice would you be able to give them when they're hiring their very first cyberbacker? Um, I think the more organized you have yourself together and the more you know what you want and need from them, the better able you are to utilize them. I think if, I mean, and honestly, when I started, I was sort of 50, 50, I wasn't sure what was possible. I wasn't sure what I needed. So, um, you know, if I had already had an assistant doing a lot of this stuff for me, I probably would have had a better sense of how things would go. Um, but I do think the prep putting prep and time into like, you know, how is this going to work? What are the systems and tools that we have that make it work? Do I have everything I need to make it work? Do I, you know, do I have a way to communicate with him when I need to? Do I know how to use the things so I can tell him how to use the things, you know, all that stuff. So just the more idea you have in your mind of how you can make it work and the more homework you, the homework you do to prepare for it, I think the easier it is for both of you. 
And you can ask Emil. I probably fell very short on that. So that's just <laughs> advice I would give to other people. So prepare this as well on having someone as a partner, of course, working with you with the business then. Now, um, we've talked about Emil for a while now. I know that he's listening. Would you want to give him a quick shout out or any message you'd like to share on the show? Yeah, no, I mean, thanks for your patience, Emil, and getting how we got all this started. And I've just had a lot of stuff going on in my business that's taken me away from, you know, I can't micromanage him, which is fantastic that I don't need to. So I'm super grateful that I connected with Emil and that he's the one that I got because I think he's just, um, you know, super patient, very creative, total self-starter. And that's been amazing for me. So I'm really grateful. We are very excited to see where this partnership between you and Emil would be in the next few months and the years to come. Sandy, thank you very much for being on the show today. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.